Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Ahmed Shoukli Hwajli. Um, through these presentations, I shall present a series of uh, lectures uh, regarding um, the course of research methodology addressed for Master 1 students. Uh, these presentations will be divided into themes and each, in each theme we will cover a particular specific point regarding the course of research methodology. Theme 1, in part 1 in theme 1, we are going to have an overview on research methodology. Basically, we are going to, to review some fundamentals regarding research uh, in general and research methodology in particular. Of course, for the contents of this theme, theme 1, Part one, we are going to cover the following points. First, first point is what, what is or what, what is the meaning of research? Second one, let's have a look at some definitions of research. In the third point, we are going to talk about the objectives of research. And finally, we will finish this first presentation with the motivation or motivations in doing research. Uh, 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 what is research or what, what, what is the meaning of research? It's clear that according to what is written on the slide, this slide, first slide, research seeks to answer certain questions. Research is a careful investigation or inquiry. Research is to obtain knowledge. Research, research is to contribute science to science or to academia. Of course, according to what is written on this slide, Research seeks to, to answer certain questions. It's usually claimed in research methodology that any research work starts with a, a question. The beginning is a question, and the researcher seeks usually to answer this question. Of course, we start with a question, and what we end with is the answer to this question, but we have to know that this answer to this question is also, could, it could be also a question that we can uh, uh, raise in order to uh, do further research. That is, research starts with a question and it ends with an answer to that question. But this answer could be also a question. Uh, uh, research is a careful investigation. This is very obvious. And in any research work, any researcher, he has to um, be very careful and he has to be very cautious and he has to be very, uh, very uh, prepared in, 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 in doing research according to the research re requirements and according to research standards and according to scientific norms and also according to very uh, clear, significant, uh, successive stages. Of course, uh, uh, when doing research, the aim is to obtain knowledge, knowledge about what we research. And this knowledge, by the end, it could be an addition to science. It could be an addition to academia. This is what we call uh, the contribution of doing uh, the contribution of the researcher in doing or in conducting any research. Uh, it's very important, by the end of any research investigation, to ask the question: What is the contribution? By the contribution again, we mean what is the addition to knowledge? What is the addition to academia? What is the addition to uh, science that this research has brought and the researcher has contributed? This is very important, very important question that needs to answer. Whenever there is a contribution, that means uh, uh, this study is uh, very significant. Now let's move to the second point in this uh, presentation. It concerns a uh, definition. What is what uh, to see the definition of research or let's say definition because in, in, on the literature or in the literature we, we may find a, 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 a great deal of definitions but of course all of them they they, they have the, the to converge for the same uh, uh, sense and the same meaning of course uh, each definition focuses on a given uh, aspect uh, but overall all these definitions they converge to, to mean the same thing regarding the definition of research. Let's read the first statement regarding the definition of research. It, it, it reads, research is the systematic scholarly application of the scientific method 
Research is the scholarly, systematic scholar application of the scientific method. Key, key term in this first statement is that systematic. That means research is something that is very organized, very ordered. It's not something that is done uh, uh, like this. It needs certain, uh, uh, certain uh, caution. It needs certain organization and certain order. Research is a careful inquiry or examination in seeking facts or principles. It's very careful again. We insist usually on the, 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 this, this important uh, quality that research is a careful inquiry and a careful examination. Of course, it seeks to obtain facts. It seeks to obtain or to confirm some principles. Research is an honest, exhaustive, intelligent searching for facts and the implications with reference to a given problem. Here in this third statement, there is the, the, the elicitation of a given problem. Of course, we have to know that in any research work, a research study starts usually by a problem. The problem is the initial uh, um, stage uh, to, to do, to, to formulate, or let's say to raise a problem or to think of a problem, and then to carry out your, or as a researcher, of course, your investigation in order to answer or to solve this problem. Research is to collect and analyze data based on the actual evidence. Uh, while uh, talking about uh, research, uh, we have to know that research is usually considered to be a process. In this process, we have usually uh, uh, to think of a problem and the, the investigation is an attempt usually to answer or to solve this problem or to raise a question and to answer, answer this question in between Usually, we can do that by collecting data and by analyzing data. To collect data, of course, this data will give us some insights and some valuable uh, ideas about uh, what we are researching. And of course, it's not enough. We need to analyze this data. The analysis of this data can lead usually us to some uh, results and some findings. And from these findings, we can come with uh, some conclusions. These conclusions generally in these conclusions, we have to answer the raised question and to solve the problem that we are researching. Now, let's move to the objectives of research. Of course, according to what is written again on this slide, we can say that uh, uh, one of the objectives of research is to gain familiarity with the phenomenon or to achieve new, to achieve new insights into it. Second objective is to portray accurately the characteristics of an individual uh, uh, situation or a group. Uh, third, let's say objective, is to determine the fre frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else. And finally, uh, the last objective is to test the hypothesis of a causal relationship between variables. According, if you want to uh, summarize these objectives, of course, uh, uh, research is to gain familiarity with the phenomenon or to achieve a new insights into it. Whether whether we are looking for a description of a social phenomenon or whether we are looking for uh, associations and the frequency with which something occurs. This simply means that here we are um, without we anticipate to talk about this. So um, the objective either it's to describe a social phenomenon. Very often here we are concerned with a, a, a descriptive study or we are looking for the frequency with which something occurs or with looking for the associations between two uh, variables. And in this case, we are uh, concerned with, uh, let's say, uh, purely um, uh, measurement and testing, which means, in other words, we are dealing with uh, quantitative stuff. So uh, the objective of research overall is to look for this, either to describe a social phenomenon or to look for the associations between the variables. And uh, the final point in this first presentation concerns the motivation in research. Generally, what urges any researcher to carry out or to conduct research? Uh, we, can, we, can, we can summarize uh, these, uh, these, uh, uh, the, what motivates a researcher to conduct a research in the following points. First one, to get a research degree with its consequential benefit. Of course, generally, any, in any research work, whether at the master level or even at an advanced level with a PhD, the aim is to get a degree, and this degree will be beneficial in the professional career of the researcher. The second 
uh, motivation concerns the desire to face challenge in solving unsolved problem. Of course, generally when doing research, it's a challenge to solve a problem that has not been solved before or that has been solved and still needs to be uh, again investigated because the, the previous studies maybe did not tackle some aspects or maybe failed to give an accurate answer to uh, what has been investigated. So in any research, there is a challenge. The, the, this, this is very important for any research. Wh whatever we do in, in uh, any research work, is, it's in fact in itself is a challenge. The third motivation concerns the desire to get intellectual joy of doing more creative work. Uh, this is very personal. So, uh, we, when we talk about research, research in fact is very a uh, hard task. But within this hard task, there is some joy, especially when one uh, overcomes the difficulties, the hardships he or she encounters. And by the end, he or she comes up with something that is uh, said to be a good contribution to science and uh, uh, to, to academia. This is, in fact, gives a certain joy, certain happiness for the research. Next point concerning the motivation is the desire to be of uh, uh, service to society. Of course, this is very obvious. Whatever we do in any research work, uh, we are looking for answers to the, uh, uh, the, the questions that are raised to the problems that are encountered. When answering the questions, when solving the problems, we are doing a good service for our society. And of course, the last uh, uh, example of what motivates some people uh, to carry out research is the desire to get respectability. Of course, uh, whenever you get a gain uh, and you get a degree after you complete your research investigation, this will give you a certain respect respectability in, in, in society. So. Uh, Overall, this is all about uh, the first presentation, some fundamentals regarding uh, research. And we have talked about what research is, provided some definitions of research, and tried to, to talk about the objectives of research and some, let's say, uh, examples that motivate any research to carry out research. Uh, this is all for the first presentation. Thank you very much indeed.